I'm I'm passionate about talking about I think my story not out of ego but out of um anybody can do it and you know you have mm-hmm. you know the the the, the um, for, how you built it you, the fortitude you need yeah. to, to yeah. make it as a bootstrap yeah i have so a good like, question oh, for that thing. you uh, you actually prompted I, all i think about all day is what what are the best questions to elicit great answers and stories and you doing the research for you elicited a question for me that is in my mind one of my favorite questions that i have that cool. i'm going to ask you yeah um, awesome. and i'm going to put it on every future interview so and it's on this topic so your story so i'll we'll talk about that for sure oh, awesome yeah, yeah that sounds great um yeah i've right. got nothing i mean i you know bootstrapping i love talking about that and okay. and you know right now i'm super into trying to scale the business i'm yeah. you know hiring I, yeah, I'm about to hire a woman today. She'll be a, you know, the second person we've hired in the past week. I mean, we're we're working on culture and and you know, really trying to, you know, for me, what I see a lot of startups and entrepreneurs they get yeah. stuck in their business, you know, trying to get out of being stuck, trying to see the big picture, mm-hmm. and trying to constantly improve. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I'm I I I've, I've really considered myself a study of the craft. Yeah. of running a company. Yeah. And I don't think I did that for a long time. And and yeah. once we started, once I started to do that, things changed dramatically. Yeah. So I was going to wait for the, yeah, I'm going to, you know, actually introduce you, but I'm just going to go with this question now because we're right into it. And um, I'm not going to wait for the middle, but, but the question that you made me think of that I love is what have you sacrificed? It's a good question. I hate you for asking it. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. it's a, it's a great question. I I would say in the early yeah, you know, there's there's a can I rewind and I yeah. don't know if we're going to how yeah. we're going to get to this or if we get I'll to it all. I'll just introduce you in a bit, but just go on. You're you're riffing on. I love how you talk about scale and culture and that's top of mind because that's real stuff that businesses are thinking about. So I'll, yeah. I want to include that. Yeah. So when I when I started, you know, the the company, I think there's three phases of my business. Yeah. First phase was hobby phase. Second phase was lifestyle phase. Four phases, lifestyle phase. Mm-hmm. Third phase was no life phase, and the fourth, isn't the whole phase no life phase? No, it doesn't no. have to. It the doesn't hobby, have to. the hobby phase, you were probably working pretty hard too. No. Yes. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll get into that. Anyways, and the, yeah. And the fourth yeah. phase uh, is. Um, scaling, yeah, and 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 so you know, first phase, hobby phase. Since you you brought it back up, yeah, um, I was working a full time job, was doing this on nights and weekends. What were you doing but, at the time? Was this when you were a teacher, the special I was ed teacher, special ed? Yeah, yeah, okay. I, was I have a lot of questions ed. about that, but yeah. Oh yeah, go yeah. go ahead. Yeah, you know, like, I, is this a G, rated G or a rated R podcast? It, it's whatever it is. So for some people, it's R. For some people, it's G. So if it's, it's R I, for you, then that's fine. My first, you know, my first day on the job, I, I show up, I, I'm a sub teacher. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I've never done this before. I walk into the classroom and, uh, a, a boy walks in, um, and all the classrooms had, had water, water, uh, coolers, uh, in them. He walks in, he sees me, he walks up to the water cooler and starts humping it. Wow. And welcome I, to your first day. <laughs> that that was a sign. It was a sign. Did I, you I just walk off and be like, okay, this is not for me? I just started cracking oh, up and yeah. I was like, oh, okay, is this what I'm going to be dealing with? Great. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, so I was teaching um, and, and I, I uh, you know, nights and weekends. Yeah, I, I, I was working. It was really this experiment back then. It was a hobby. It was, you know, I'm, I'm testing the waters, trying to figure it out. And I did that for two years until I quit the job, got mm-hmm. married, moved to Colorado, and moved into the next phase, which was lifestyle business. Yeah. So before you moved to the next phase, what inspired you to even start that? You know, what was your dream at that moment to... This is an interview that's completely yeah. being recorded out of order. That's cool. That's cool. I love it. It's yeah. so cool. Um, the, uh, we'll circle back to whatever we'll circle back to. <laughs> it's a, this is fun. Um, I started, I was, I was, you know, I, I grew up in New York, um, right. New York, the culture in New York is a money culture. It is all about, you know, um, it's, you need money to, to survive in New yeah. York. So, yeah. you know, inherently it becomes this money culture. 
uh, I was a you know I, I I was a stock trader in New York. I grew up around families and businesses. I was infatuated right. and obsessed with um, how people made money and how people built businesses. And you know I, I couldn't wait every year for the for the Forbes list of the richest people uh, b- because uh, not because I was like oh my god these guys are so cool. It was uh, it was a study guide. It was how do I how they do it? How do I emulate them? Yeah. You know what made them so successful and for me the stories that were exciting were were the self-made stories the stories of the guy who hey he started a farm you know built from one plot to 10 to 20 to 50 and then you know all of a sudden you know he he started buying out buying out other farms that stuff got me going who did Um, you look up to at that moment like when you were looking at the forbes list does does anyone stick out i mean there was nobody specifically i i think buffett was probably the most interesting to me I, i I liked his philosophies, yeah. but uh, beyond that, I mean, I, I think everybody was fascinating because, except you know, of course, the people who inherit their money, uh, but you know, the people who built these from the know, ground up empires, yeah, it was really fascinating. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand, and right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Wise here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, Josh Dorkin, A Bigger Pockets, and many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today we have Josh Dorkin. He's founder of BiggerPockets.com and we were just talking about the Forbes list and the impressive people who start things from scratch and he started the site from scratch over 10 years ago and has now as i read on the site today 440,000 members they've grown to be one of the largest and most reputable real estate community on the internet with a forum that has over 900,000 posts oh no more than that more than that one seven one point wow two to three thousand new posts a day wow they hold the number one real estate podcast on iTunes. They track more than 1,000 new members a day and help change people's lives to gain their own financial freedom through real estate. Josh, thanks for joining me. Oh, man. You mentioned me with the guy who founded Atari. That's cool. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Since Inspired Insider, I always ask um, about the lowest point and then the proudest moment. What's, what's been the lowest point in the business for you? Uh, let's see. Lowest point. I'd say, you know, some of those moments where I was hating the business uh, when it was a quote unquote lifestyle business, but I had no life. Um, I, I'm i still, you know, I'll readily admit. And, and by the way, don't don't be me to anybody listening to the show. Um, I've taken uh, the sacrifice. Is what I've the taken sacrifice I'm trying question. to think maybe two or three at most days off in the past eight years. Wow. I I. I you know, I work every single day, um, seven days a week, not healthy, not okay. And I've been working for the past three to, to stop doing that. So I got yeah. to the point where there was so much stuff and so Is much. Is that time. even possible for you at this point to oh, stop yeah. doing it? I'm very excited about it. Oh yeah. Okay. So I, I'm hiring an assistant right now. And, and so I've, I've, I've handed the vast majority of, of the stuff to other amazing people who work for me. And the last thing that now I have to let go of is the day-to-day, you know, um, administrative stuff that I uh, that's left over for me. And and so, um, as soon as I have my assistant, I'm very excited to be going on a vacation uh, mm. with the family. Where are you going to go? Uh, we're doing a cruise. Nice. Doing a cruise, but uh, yeah. So don't do that. So I mean, what's like, that grind? The constant grind. But you can't do it if you don't love it. Yeah. You know, you can't do it right. if you don't love it and if you're not passionate about it. Um, and and uh, yeah, I, I heard a great quote and I'm going to totally butcher this thing. It Go was ahead. Today, well, it was on people Facebook. People will look it up later. But, yeah, yeah, it was, and I don't even know who the hell said it, but it it was about um, uh, hard work is um, uh, hard work doing something you hate is stress. Hard work doing something you do is, I think it was passion or something or, or I, uh, love hustles, or passion. Love, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I, I think that's totally true. If, if you, if you're excited about what you do, you know, 
it's never going to be a pain in the neck. Yeah. It's never, you know, unless you work in a hundred hours a week and yeah. you know, about to collapse. Yeah. I mean, from the low point standpoint too, what was your wife's influence on that? You know, I'm sure she was a kind of sounding board support. What was her role as you're grinding and building the company? Um, always supportive, always supportive um, in whatever my decision was. Um, we, we probably had a dozen to 20 conversations, um, not just like hypotheticals, but, oh, and it was, it was really in the probably year four to seven, um, four, yeah, four to seven, uh, where I, um, I was ready to quit. I was like, this is it. Let's, I, I think now's the right time. Hmm. You know, we would sit and we'd talk it over and, you know. What'd you say? Yeah. I'll support you whatever you want to do. You know, I got your back. And not necessarily what I wanted to hear. What did you want to hear? It was, it was what I wanted to hear. Yeah. I, I think what I wanted to hear Did you was, want her to talk you out of it? Did you want oh, her to I be like, yeah, it's quit? To, yeah, I think I wanted her. I, I, I think half the time I wanted her to actually say, yeah, quit. And I think the other half, yeah. I wanted her to talk me out of it. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad she said what she said. I'm glad. Yeah. That's a good answer. I'm it was because yeah. it makes me make the decision. She, right. she can't be responsible. So right. <laughs> very smart. Right. So and this high point. Yeah. Proudest moment. Yeah. Um, I'd say every, every day has, has high points. You know, when we, when we, yeah. you know, when we learn that people are being successful from what we're yeah. doing, you know, yeah. what's been the biggest success story that, that makes you proud? I'd say it's really hard to narrow this down because yeah. I mean, and you know, I'm modest, but like we help a whole hell of a lot of people. Yeah. And I mean, here, the podcast for me is one of the most fun things to do because uh, a lot of times we just get those success stories and get into a lot of depth from our people, like right. how big pockets help transform their lives. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I don't know. Just, I mean, looking at the numbers is just outstanding. I mean, we're, we, we, last year, you know, we reached well over 10 million people. It's amazing. Um, yeah. You know, the, the, the site's one of the biggest in the space. The podcast is the top in the industry. You know, l last month in December, I don't know when this comes out, but in December we launched two new books on our publishing business. And in the period of 30 days, we sold over 10,000 copies of the books. Wow. We are not, this was not through a publisher. This was independent. Right. We're a small independent publishing house, which I, I'm pretty sure would have put us on the, on the Wall Street Journal list. Um, you know, and knowing that we, we do this. We have the capacity. Right. We've it's just, just you launch it to your audience and it happens. Well, it doesn't just happen. I mean, we work our butts Well, off. I mean, it's happened over 11 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It took yeah. a long time. Right. It took a long right. time. So just all of it looking, I don't know. I mean, you, you said it earlier. It was, it's my baby. It, yeah. it is. And, and so I have so much pride when I look at all that we've accomplished. And, and I, I don't know that there's any singular thing that I'm most proud of. I, I think yeah. I'm most proud of bigger pockets. I yeah. think, you know, it, it's really becoming, yeah. um, a, a, um, a platform, um, that helps people around the world. Yeah. And, 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 you know, whether it's, there's a there's bigger pockets groups around the world yeah. as as an example like these organic groups that have, you know come together because of people who are passionate we've got we've got a group in South Korea that's got hundreds of people really? wow. once a month and talk real estate there's a new one in Japan now in Tokyo I uh, I believe they're all over the United States it's it's amazing we're impacting people everywhere on the planet yeah wow yeah it's amazing Josh, this has been fantastic. Um, where should we point people towards? Obviously, biggerpockets.com. Any other places they should check out? Uh, so check out Bigger Pockets. Check out the podcast at biggerpockets.com slash podcast. Go on iTunes, Stitcher, wherever. Leave us a rating review. Go and leave Jeremy for the Inspired Insider. If you are listening to this and getting any value out of this or any other interview that Jeremy has done, I, I demand that you go and leave him a rating and review that will help him grow this podcast. This guy, and, and I'm not just saying this to kiss his ass. I've done a whole hell of a lot of interviews. Hands down, I think you are the best interviewer I've ever wow. uh, done an interview wow. for. It's, Thank you, Josh. I appreciate amazing. that. Um, check out the podcast. Um, and if you're curious about real estate, we wrote this thing called The Ultimate Beginner's Guide for yeah, Real Estate. Yeah, tell people there's a couple books you have on, on Amazon. What are those and where should they check them out? 
start with the ultimate beginner's guide. It's okay. free. It's totally free. It's biggerpockets.com slash UBG. And it literally is, it's, it's, um, it's like this eight chapter book, really pretty brief. And it tells you everything you need to know about real estate investing and, you know, house flipping, you know, is it something that makes sense for me? Buy yeah. and hold some of the other strategies. It teaches you the fundamentals and, you know, once you have those fundamentals, you can make a decision if you actually want to get in and how you want to get in, what your path yeah. might want to be. Yeah. Um, we've got books in the store. We've got a book on flipping houses, book on investing in no and low yeah. uh, money, book on rental property investing, managing properties. We're going to have a whole lot more coming out as we grow our yeah. publishing business. We just hired somebody to run our publishing company today. Congratulations. Really Thank you. Um, but that's it. And check out, you know, yeah. go keep listening to Jeremy's yeah. shows because he's amazing. I appreciate it. So, thank you so much for your kind words. It sure. really means a lot, Josh. And, and uh, this has been fantastic. I'm leaving about 30 questions on the table right now that I'm just going to end here. But uh, have me back. I, I appreciate <laughs> it, you know, really. So thank you again. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. 